Because yes, I am happy. If I wasn't happy, I wouldn't be with you. Yeah. Like, you know, when, but like whenever I met Amberlynn, I didn't even want to be in a relationship with anyone at the time. She just kind of roped me in. Oh, did I? You did. Did I put you in a knot? You did. Like, <laughs> I was, I was done with relationships. Like, I hadn't had a relationship in like nine or ten months at that point. Like, I was just over it. Yeah. Rarittles. Y'all might not believe this, but Amberlynn has a line of people that would like to be with her. Oh my god. And send her things. I know. I block. I did like you. That's why I'd come see you and why things happened the way they happened. Yeah. Because Amberlynn was like, you better figure it out because I got <laughs> people no, in no. She likes to exaggerate this story. I mean, she, I'm just saying. You exaggerate this story like I have never known in my life. I know. It was exaggeration. But you were <sighs> kind of like, Becky, come on now. I, don't I needed be her. wasting my time. Yeah, it's like There's I don't want to waste my time. In my DMs, and then that I made me like panic. That. I didn't. You did say that because you did have other people in your DMs all the time. That's why I got mad over Snapchat, and you barely started using it. Oh yeah, I I ended up like yeah. Becky is one of a kind. Listen, this one over here. Oh, I've made out with this person and that person and this person back in the day. Why do you always do this? Oh, Becky, whenever you were talking to me, I had people lined up to talk to I've, get with me. Just, I've yeah, never yeah. said that. What I'm trying to explain to you guys is that something as simple as there's this place three hours, three hours from here that I wanted to go to. And I've been wanting to go for literal ever. And a big hard part for me was like her not wanting to like take me like but then she would drive hours away for like other things or people like what <laughs> we'll talk about this later it's just one of those things okay. you can say the bad that i've done oh the other places i've went for people because i knew where i was going oh i love that i mean yeah um you becky is it. there any chance to work things out please don't talk for her alr just let becky answer this Last stream, people were praising Becky, weren't they? They were like, Becky's talking for both her and Amber Lynn, and I love it. And Amber Lynn is just sitting there. But then when I do it, people get What's mad at face? me. People What's get mad at me. Face? She was able to hold it together a little bit better than me. But there you go. Answer the question. <laughs> what was it? I forgot. Will you, um, is there any chance to work things out? And personally, I don't want you to answer that question just because I don't want to know the answer. Okay. That's just how I cope is on my own. I'm very opposite. Like if something's like going on, like something, if I'm bothered by something, like I want to talk about it now. Like I don't want to like let it just like steam in my brain. Like me and you are total opposites of that. Like, if me and you get into an argument, she wants to peace out. And I'm over here like, no, yeah. we need to talk about it now to fix the problem instead of just, like, letting it marinate and get worse. Because that's kind of how it feels. That's definitely not how I am. It's so weird. If I argue with someone, I want it to be like, um, we'll go our separate ways for maybe, like, 15, 20 minutes. And then come back together and recuperate because mm -mm. I hate that. That's just what I gotta do. So that's like that's been hard because she hates how I do it and I hate how she does Which it. I mean, so that's know, why we're just good as friends. Amberlynn can like just not let me be mad for a little bit. She's got to see that is one thing that drives me nuts about you. I need my space because I'm angry and you're just no. We need to talk about this. That's me and her are completely different when it comes to that. If we're in an argument, but she I, needs her space. But I want to talk about it now. I want it to be over with now. I get over things very quickly, though. You do not. It depends. You can let things ruin your whole day. Oh, for sure. My whole year. Yeah. My whole decade. Hi, Amber. When you say you're fearful being on your own due to your size, what exactly is that fear that worries you? Um... Freaking hats getting on my nerves. Heart attacks, strokes. What if I fall in the shower? That's why you need to get those grippy things on the shower so you don't fall. 
and maybe get like if you need one of those handles you can install those wrong no <laughs> you're delusional thinking it's healthy to keep sleeping together i slept with crystal for months after we broke up i slept with destiny for a couple weeks after we broke up it didn't affect me the only way it did affect me was in a positive way i don't want to just lose my friend in that comfort i don't like sleeping alone like it is what it is and becky it's, it's not like i'm holding her hostage telling her come sleep in the bed with me clearly she wants to as well but not in a weird way <sighs> becky baby girl you ain't got to sleep in the same bed with Amber. You got legs. You can just get up and walk away. What's Amber going to do? Chase you down? Well, no. Like I literally just said a minute ago, I said if we try it and it's too hard or weird, then there's another bed. It's just this one. Yeah. She doesn't like being a alone in the same room but that is something like to sleep but that is something you are gonna have to work on yeah but not yet no what you want me to work on it now no there we go there's your answer i'm just saying <laughs> i want you to work on it soon so whenever that time comes it won't be so hard what i'm just kidding you okay. know what i'm saying yeah we'll see sorry i'm really yeah i know it just like hit me again like just... i told you this is what happens it's like i'm fine and then it's like it happens all over like i don't know where that came from i'm like yeah, I know. This is the first time I've seen this in maybe two days. No, I cried yesterday quite a few times. Where was I? You don't remember? That's hurtful. I think it's because so many people are talking about it, and we've been so freaking busy the last two days. I that, mean, like... yeah, that's, that's what it is. Like, <sighs> we've just been so busy. I don't want to admit this, but... Things got so bad that there was a moment where we almost broke up. Mm -hmm. um, it just seemed, it was like this, it was just a scary time in every sort of way. Amber, that makes it sound like you wanted to break up with her for being sick. No, she wanted no. to break up with me. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to stand by your side. Yeah. It was me. I tried to end it. Because she did, her brain was not working. And I said, nope, I'm not having it. I still feel like I'm the same person I was three months ago. Just me. better, <laughs> happier. Still the horseshoes, the bean bags, and her.